Hi, I'm Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. Out here, going to show you another little install tip real quick. Uh, we know a lot of you guys out there are DIYers, and we, love, we support that, but uh, there are places to try to save money and places not to try to save money. Uh, this is a customer-made battery cable. There's a lot of the internet showing you how to make a battery cable out of uh, copper tubing, how to make a battery lug, and uh, this is not as good as a crimp connection. So here's one that's customer-made. He said it was super good, super tight. So here's how we test our crimps on our crimper. Let's see if I can pull it off. <sighs> Came off pretty easy. Now, well, I'm not going to show you one of mine because I don't have one. But if I could take, if you can take a battery cable and you can tug, I'm going to tug a step on it, tug as hard as I can. If you can pull that off, then it ain't tight enough. We're making our crimps with a quick cable. It's a UL listed crimper. Did we take it out there already? I'm going to show it to you in just a second. This is the customer's DIY battery bank. It's uh, 225 amp hour golf cart batteries. As you can see, he's got some of his uh, homemade connectors. I'm trying to talk him out of them. Um, but what can happen is, you know, if it's at all loose, uh, it's going to have resistance and heat's going to build up there and you're going to have two problems. Your batteries aren't going to charge equally. And the other problem is, is uh, you may start a fire. The whole reason to do one of these systems is to, um, you know, have energy security and power security. And if your house burns down when you need your system most, uh, then you did not accomplish your dream. He's got a lot going on here. He's got a little wind turbine. This is a DIY system here. And uh, I might title this video, that's the solar coming in, DIY gone wild. Solar DIY gone wild. He's got himself a Unistrut rack he built. Anchored to his porch. We'll be fixing that tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to show you my crimper. So after crushing all your DIY battery cable dreams. And just uh, throwing them out the window. I don't want to be a dream crusher without a solution. So here's, here's my quick cable. Crimp 250. This is a UL listed battery crimper. And uh... You guessed it, it has kind of has the UL tag on it. it. Tells you which size lugs, it's all beat up, but you see the UL. It tells you which size lugs to use on which size wires, and it has rotating heads. And you, 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 uh, you pop it open, and you can rotate to the different sizes of the crimp die. There are a lot of crimpers out there like this. Um, there's also automatic crimpers, and compression crimpers and you guessed it when you're using a quick cable crimper you want to use the quick cable lug there's the cue for quick cable and 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 so on and so on i mean here's like some lugs for another style crimper heavier wall now that kind of lug right there that has an inspection port so that's for like hard fine strand wire not 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 fine strand wire it's for like thhn and stuff the big the seven strand or 17 strand or something like that um, these aren't the best type of cables to use if you're doing a flooded lead acid battery bank because the acid could get in there and corrode it so that's that's like a this is more of like an electrical thing but if you're not doing something where it's going to be subject to corrosion that would be okay um, but this is you want to use a copper tube lug that's closed off on the end and then after you get a good crimp you're gonna end up with something looking kind of like this it's just a big uniform crimp and they say if you actually cut that crimp open you would see where the it was like cold welded the copper and you cannot pull that off my tool does a little bit of what I call flagging which I don't love but um, an old electrician friend of mine said that's just the way that tool does and then the last thing you want to do is come back and finish it off with some glue filled heat shrink. That just makes it look really nice and protects it from corrosion. Now we're coming from the lead acid battery world and a lot of you DIYers are going to be coming from doing lead acid banks. So you want to make sure you use a glue filled heat shrink. You don't want to use uh, just regular old heat shrink. You want something that's glue filled marine grade so nothing's going to get up in there and start to corrode that battery cable. Um, you want to use fine stranded wires I think I might post a uh, little thing on the impacity of fine stranded wires the wire I like to use is 
X Flex Cobra Flex. I don't know where it says that on it. Let's see if we can find it. This is a fine stranded wire by Southwire. Let's see if we can find it. Well, it ain't focusing, but Cobra wire is good stuff. That's what I use. Uh, there's some other cable types you can use, but welding cables not welding cable works, and you see it a lot, but it's not necessarily the right cable. Um, I hope this helps you do it. Helps you. I hope this helps you use the right uh, terminals and make your battery connections right. Don't want to rip you, tear you down, and cut on your dreams without giving you a solution. This is Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar signing out. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe, and we'll keep pushing them out there. Oh, one more thing. If you want to, if you don't have the money to buy one of these crimpers, they're over 200 bucks usually. A lot of times you can go to a place that works on big trucks, and they have a crimper for this, like truck, truck auto parts stores where they work on like tractor trailers and stuff. They always are dealing with this big cable, and that's where I go in my town if I'm looking for it. You can also go to your electrical supply house and ask if you can borrow a crimper. A lot of times they'll have a crimper that they'll loan you out. Um, or you could borrow one from an electrician. There's three ways you can get a hold of this tool to make four crimps. Uh, or you go to a welding place. They might have, they, you know, this is a lot like welding cables, so they may have a crimper to make welding cables. Thanks for watching.